praise the living God. Mukama for your service. On such a great day, a historical day of the foreign servant of the Lord, Professor Patrick, my secretary, and Church of Uganda, Bali Diocese. Bali Abanakibiko that we receive all of you. We shall all turn to the order of service on page 10, the book you are having. That has been given to you for this service of Professor or Dr. Master Kuya. On page 10, brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to thank God for Patrick, his life. In times like this, our minds are flooded with memories of those times we are settled with Patrick. We will forever hold these memories early in our hearts. We shall remember his love for God, his passion for God, his word, and how to be, he served the Lord with humility. The Apostle Paul admonishes us not to grieve as those without hope. We come to this time of prayer with hope in Jesus Christ, who overcame death and now reigns victoriously forevermore. Jesus said, I am the resurrection, the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, he shall live. And whoever lives, and believes in me shall never die. We brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing from the world. The Lord gives, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our loving God, eternal Heavenly Father, as we meet this day to remember our dear friend Pat and brother Patrick, we ask you to be with us the God of all comfort and the God of all reality of death to grow our perspectives of the truth of life. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. We shall remain standing for the reading of the psalm. By the Venerable Amos. Uh, we are taking Psalm 39, but it will be in turns. As I read the first verse, we respond the following. I said, I will guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain from my, my mouth with a muscle while the wicked are before me. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Indeed, you have made my days as hand breathes, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly, every man at his best state is but vapor. And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. I was mute. I did not open my mouth because it was you who did it. When with rebukes you correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty melt away like a moth, surely 
Every man is vapor. Remove your gaze from me, that I may regain strength before I go away and I am no more. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as of now. World without end. Amen. Let's take our seats for the reading. Friends, our reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew at St. John, chapter 14, from verse 1 to verse 8. I'm reading from King James's version. Let not your heart be troubled, yet believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way, you know, Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. ye know him and have seen him. Philip says unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient to us. This is the gospel of Christ. Our second reading is taken from Paul's second letter to Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 1. Our second reading is taken from Paul's second letter to Corinthians chapter 5 from verse 1. For we know that if the earth returns, not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, because when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. For a while we are in the tent, we groan and we are burdened, because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to be clothed. Instead, with our heavenly dwelling, so that what is mortal may be swollen by the life. Now the one who has fashioned us for this great purpose to go is God, who has given us the spirit as a deposit, granting us what is to come. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and I would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So we make it our call to please him. Whether we are at home in the body or away from it, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due to us for the things done while in the body whether good or bad. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
children. Praise the living God. Yes, I cannot hear you. Mukama face saves me. My Lord Bishop, Mary Dices. Bishop from North Mary. My fellow Archdeacons present today. The clergy. The pastors from various sects of faith. I know Patrick has even brought a brother from Islamic faith. I'm Venerable Colonel Michael Peter Msingo. By God's grace, the Archdeacon of this area, where the great man has been brought for prayers. Papa Bishop, you are welcome for your coming with the I know there are so many visitors that have come. The DS will take that time for your recognition. I did not take this pleasure to invite you to introduce other members, anyone that you can say to us. House Mem Sahut. Lord Bishops, Bishop of Mbari, Bishop of North Mbari, I am God for your presence to come and officiate this uh, function to this great man of the soil. We have been informed that this period is the football match. So we needed to catch up with the time. And our program a bit, we are going to change a bit. Uh, we said our speeches coming before the sermon. The speeches will come after the sermon. But here, what we are going to do, uh, first recognize the church leaders who are here. Then we go on to the program. Please stand up. I want to recognize you. Abulis, Angela Wisa, thank you for coming. Uh, if you are a leader in any faith, of all the Imam, of all the Catechist, of all the Pastor, we want to request you to stand up also to recognize you. Chairman, Chairman, our board is the body of secretariat of the body diocese. So you stand together because I don't want to answer one by one. We don't have time. Any other office I have is happy. My body bishops, I want to recognize the presence of these dignitaries. Honorable Con Kaduango, I mean, you have your time, but as a church, you want to recognize you. You have a similar. I want to recognize the former MP, Honorable Jack Omai. Staff of Half Simile, Angela Witzer. The former MP and the minister, uh, 
Siblings of the late, they are, they move forward, or they say, brother, you know, they are siblings, they say, brother, Patrick, rest in the eternal peace, may God bless his eternal soul. 
UPC party president. Now uh, as we and then the uh, uh, honorable uh, UPC party, yes. Yes. The party that he, that Patrick has served as a treasurer of the party and as a minister in the government. We have Mama Miriam Karule Obote. And yeah, of course, UPC can see Darlington and Yoka Sakwa and the canon Patrick Asoyja. I'm also moving forward to honoring too. For Masavara Mali, we did a hopeful song in office later. Yes, I have honorable Lydia Wanyoto. Then, as we, as the as honorable Jack Wamanga Wamai also prepares to come forward. Yes, the diplomat, the former MOP of Mali, let's say. Honorable Jack Omanga Omai moves forward to <laughs> says Parody Iran. Yeah. Yes, we have Bama Saba, Kampala Community, Bama Saba, Kampala Community, Bama Saba, Kampala Community. As Uganda Broweries Limited family prepares to come forward also. So Bama Saba Kampala community. I say I saw Dr. Bama Saba Kampala community. Tom. Dr. Tom. Uh, yes. Yeah, there he comes to Yes. Uh, Bama Saba Kampala community. Dr. Onyakara, representing Bama Saba, Kampala community. Uh -huh. Then Uganda Broweries Limited family, Uganda Broweries. As we look forward to, to sing also to your family. So the Uganda Broweries. Then my to your family, to your family. As we see also, you are a you. Kitui family, yes. There comes the mama, Kitui. My wanyala. Alikuta kurakoshi mori. Shia kuelekera. Papa, Patrick Okonele. Yeah, the papa mukasi afa. Afa kanle, afule mushifu shirai. You are a you. You are you. As the Rotary Club of Kitante prepares to come also. You are you. You are you. Then uh, we have the Rotary Club of Kitante. As Stan B. Uh, as, as Stan B. Uh, Black Parade prepares to come. The Rotary Club of Kitante. Then Stabi. Then uh, we have uh, Elizabeth Kakai and the family. I see Dr. Elizabeth Kakai and the family. Yes, the uh, doctor. Uh, Elizabeth Kakai and the family. Yes. Yes. Dr. Kakai and the family. Thank you. Then uh, the late Nangoli Gobi uh, George family. The late Nangobi. Nango, 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 Gubi, and 
family. Yes, there they come. There they come. Yes, that is the late Nango Gobi family. They move forward to putting the real honoring date Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. There, yeah, they say, yes, Papa, Patrick, rest in eternal peace. Yes, uh, GWO Masete and the family. Family, you know, hold her by my papa, Patrick, Masete Kuya. Basara Mai wa Makombe. Yes, that is GW Masete. This is George Masete. And the family. Yeah, you can see Papa Masete with the deputy speaker wa Mbale district and then the vice chairperson of LOC5 vice chairperson uh, Mbale district. That is the family. Uh, the maternal uh, side of uh, the late Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. There they move forward. Papa Masete, Vice Chairperson of the District, the Speaker. Mwanyala. Yeah. Uh, every human being has a belonging. That uh, the late Professor Patrick Masete Kuya belonged to Nabumari High School family. That is Abu Mali High School family. That is Nosa. Yes, Abu Mali. Abu Mali High School. And say engineer that that does soccer. Yes. Muri de bashi ne bashi chen de bana bashi itza. Bana muche ne Abu Mali. Abu Mali. Muri indeho, muri indeho bi bi tsira khe rada bana bana bahu ipoesa. Yes, this is Abu Mali High School for the students. Yes. Thank you. And that is Nabu Mali High School or the Students Association, NOSA members. They have just, you know, given it a blessing as a send off uh, for Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. Who belongs to Nabu Mali School. Then uh, Joseph Otieno and the UPC. Joseph Otieno. Joseph Othiano. Yes, Joseph Othiano, UPC. As, uh, as we look forward to having the family of late Major General Kasirye Gwanga, the family of the late Major General Kasirye Gwanga, Kasirio Gwanga. Yes, there we come forward. That's the family of late uh, Major General Kasirio Gwanga. Yes, there. Yeah, they say Patrick, the liberator, rest in eternal peace. And that was the family of late Major General Kasirye Gwanga. Yes. Uh, now, as we look forward to having the bishop, uh, I know the bishop will come forward with the, the bishop of North Mary Diocese. Papa. Uh, I'm asking, I'm inquiring if there is any that uh, has not uh, put on the ring before the bishop does it because after he has done it 
uh, under protocol, we shall not uh, uh, invite any other. So we had the, the Joseph Othiano, the family of uh, the family of late Katirima, the family of late Katirima, Katirima, the family of late Katirima. Yes, if we are there, the family of late Katirima, come up. Then I can see. Yes, yeah, there he comes to represent the family of late Katirima. Yes, uh -huh. he says uh, vigilant freedom fighter, liberator, rest in eternal peace. That was the family of Lady Katerina. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is any other uh, that we uh, have left out, please just come up and then remind me before we invite the bishop to, uh, to lay the wreath. Uh, if there is not any other person or presentation, please may I take this honor. Yes, as we prepare Papa uh, Ambassador Ua wa Uganda Mukenya na Iwata Uye Kulini Naye, Doctor Papa Doctor uh, Galiwango Wata Uye. Uh, Papa, and you have seen me. You have seen me, Papa. And you know it. Yes, the only other sissy, other sissy, when Bali, Tom Shaha, the water boy, I've been told that the other sissy on Bali has also come. Oh, Papa, thank you for coming. Oh, this is what. So, Papa, uh, I take this honor to inform you that the bishop is to lead. The wreath. We are inviting the church led by the bishops to go and lay the wreath. Sing only one stanza. Stanza number one. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, Thank you. Let's get seated, please.
uh, my brother bishop of North Mbari Diocese and uh, the clergy who accompanied you. I know you have your chaplain, the clergy from Mbari Diocese. I recognize the presence of our archdeacons and vicars around. We welcome you. Thank you for coming. We also recognize the lay, uh, both the, the, the clergy canons and the lay canons who are here. Honorable members of parliament present, the RCC are present, the resident district commissioner, commissioners who are here, because I know this function has brought all our districts here. Uh, the mayor, Mbari City, our mayor industrial division, who is hosting us here. The family members of Papa Masete Kuya, whom the Lord has called to himself. The councillors, all protocol observed. I want to, first of all, introduce to you uh, one of our very prominent, uh, my Janet Wesonga. Somebody told me that we, my canon Janet Wesonga is here. And uh, I felt we should actually recognize my. My, can you just come here and say just uh, a, a greeting to uh, to this congregation? My, it's my, you know very well that she was actually the first mayor. I think Dr. Darling from Sakwa can uh, agree with me. So uh, I feel she should actually say a word. And I'm very sure she knows the uh, papa whom the Lord has called Patrick Queer. My, in the she hand where oh, she said, one minute. Before I can say one minute, can we sing on Bolide Kekisa? On Bolide Kekisa, a jungle cozy. about the Nabomari Nosa group. But now the bishop has uh, just taken a lead. I want to thank you all for coming. And usually people who say Uganda is the worst country to live in, I condemn them to the highest term. Turn to your Unaiba and say home is home. Home is home. Patrick has been in Kenya, but this is his home. So those who just take dollars and say, ah, ah Uganda is the worst country. They are just, I don't know whether they are Ugandans or not. I'm sorry if the uh, generalists are here. Don't misquote me that I'm condemning 
uh, uh, all the politicians who just want to get money. Patrick has been closely working with me. I think, Darlington, you have to excuse. I finish this in one minute. They said one minute. I'm a teacher profession, tired, retired, but not tired. <laughs> so I want, first of all, to thank the government. Clap for the government for allowing Patrick's body to be brought here. Ugandans, you must be proud of your country. Be proud of your home. Bishop, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. I think, uh, Darlington, you won't be disappointed if I can square it in one minute. <laughs> now, this stadium was constructed under my instructions to get the public who is just lying there. Clap for Patrick. Some people said Patrick was aggressive. Yes, at times as a leader, you have to be aggressive. Don't please people, especially Christians. I'm sorry about my fellow uh, politicians who have sold everything to go to parliament. They have no home. I have no sympathy to say that. Because once I give you my vote, you are not overpowering me. Many people, when politicians or members of parliament ask them, remove this carpet, they will say, what are you saying? I gave you my vote. Next time I'm not going to give you. Then you yield, as the English people say. You can't say much. You have to leave that person. But I want, I have, Unfortunately, I used to have two legs, but now I have three. God, I had done enough for Uganda. I have traveled enough, even in, a, in, in the whole world. There is no better place than Uganda. Those who are saying that they are hungry, I think they are lazy. In Uganda, you can see smoke in that house. You girl just to make propaganda. Hey, Muriana, Arebe Muriana, Muru Horasi. Then eventually they will say, ah, sit here and have a meal. There you just get a free meal. Those who are saying you are getting hungry, they are lazy. This stadium was very, very beautiful. I want the management of this stadium to improve it a bit. The climate change is coming. You can see up there. Climate change, you can see, you saw what happened at Ramatara. The water can come, and this can become a lake. My worship the mayor, make Bali the cleanest town. This was the cleanest town in the East Africa and Africa as a whole. Not I'm just saying, but I traveled to all these cities, Addis, Weya, South Africa, Johannesburg, where this was the cleanest. Even the ambassadors wanted to move from Kampala and the stay in Bali because it was well planned. I'm sorry all those my colleagues whom we work together have passed on. I don't regret. And now when I have three legs, I don't regret. God said, you have done enough. Slow down. You have to slow down at one moment. Don't just jump like a, just rabbits. Soon you have to slow down. I would have said a lot. I was torn into two when I came in. The church wanted me to be there. Then the politicians wanted me to be there. Then the Nenamari people wanted me to be there. So I was stoned. I said, no, I better sit where I want to be. Uh, Darlington has taken the photo which we took 
with the late Patrick. He's going to adjust it, maybe in one time or next time they'll be selling. Our Baganda people are very clever these days. We would have received a lot of money if I had a machine to draw out what Masete Kuya looked like. I knew the Masete's family, the father, the mother, the other siblings, Peter and others. But I don't want to say much because of time. We are always a bit time, time limit, time limit. So make Uganda your home. Don't go to America, to Britain, to where. Where you go, I know. Some people just fool me and say, I'm in France, in Paris. Then ask them, bonjour. <coughs> what are they? Because there are so many crooks. He will tell you I'm in Nairobi. Kumbe, he is in Mbali. When uh, somebody says, I'm in, in West Nile, I say Ngoni. When in Ango, Kopango. When in the uh, West, West, Agandi. So you have to learn all languages in Uganda. But because of time and because people are consuming the bishop's uh, time, but I have photographs which we took with the late Maseto Kuya. What surprised me one time, I was in the, leaving the office of the mayor up there, and he said, what are you going to eat? So he had ordered somebody some food. If you have a food, you can eat it. You can eat it. I don't know if you are a So the bishop is against me. But I say the teacher is a teacher. He has lecture for 10 minutes or 30 minutes. But thank you for honoring the late because of his hard work. Your worship, the mayor, I'm asking you humbly on south how Mbari was clean. And how can we make it clean? We need a strong committee to work out to Bali City. Not just picking somebody, oh, yes, I'm going to do the work. No. But above all, know the Lord as your Savior. To put a tenderness and do. My genetic, thank you very much. Actually, I, 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 I just singled out my genetic because uh, you know the fourth bishop of Mbari Diocese was the late Aksoferi Makaiwe Songa, and my genetic was uh, a wife to the bishop, and we feel proud when we see her in our midst. And uh, my genetic, thank you very much for those very, very kind uh, words. Uh, Mourners, I want to welcome all of you uh, to this function and in a special way. I also want to welcome my brother, the Bishop of North Mbale, who accepted to come even on a very short notes. So, Bishop, I'm very, very grateful uh, with your presence. Our uh, friends, we actually received the news about the passing on of uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Patrick Masete Kuya with a profound shock. Actually, Masete Kuya, when you talk about him and what he has actually done, you just understand that he was uh, a man who actually uh, walked the talk. This stadium here, I don't know if by miracle, uh, Patrick, who's lying in the casket here, if we, by miracle he raises up, I don't know what comments he can actually make in, uh, when he says this stadium. He initiated this, the development we say 
actually ended at his time. And as my Janet Wensonga puts it right, that the management of this stadium should actually try to improve greatly because what is around is in the recognition of the servant of God who is lying here. So I want to appreciate the organizers of this function for thinking it wise to bring the body of the late Masete Kuya here in the stadium. I thank you very much. You have done something good. Because we have kept talking about what uh, uh, Professor, Dr. Professor Patrick Maceta has done. He is one of those legislators in Mbale who actually walked the talk, if I can emphasize again. You know, we have schools, when we, we look at schools like, uh, like Nambaliases, we look at schools like uh, Nyondo Secondary School, we look at a, 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 a secondary school like Mulazi, a secondary school, Musese Secondary School, to mention but a few. All this were the effort of a gallant son of Uganda who is lying here. So I want to appeal to our leaders, the honorable members of parliament, what will the people talk about you when you come to rest as our brother Masete has rested? You must ensure that you do something that people will remember you. We are here actually remembering what uh, Masete did. As a young man, I attended a very serious game, football match here. That was East and Central Africa in the 80s when Uganda played with Kenya here. As a young man, I was just on the pavilion. I remember I sat even at the other end and I watched uh, uh, that football, football, it was uh, uh, when this stadium, when you were here, you could think you were, it was actually, you, were, you would think you were outside. It was a powerful stadium, but now you can see what is around. So friends, we want to thank all of you for coming to pay your last respect. And I know tomorrow we shall be in Sivanga. So members uh, and fellow mourners, I want also to take the opportunity to thank the government of Uganda for the support they have extended to, to us. As we bury this gallant son of Uganda, a son of Masabaland, we want to appreciate the government. Thank you so much for the support that you have uh, rendered to us. But I know members who are here, for us who normally traverse throughout the Diocese of Mbale, the residence of Honorable Masetekuya is still incomplete. We want to appreciate the effort that is done to ensure that is completed. And I also want to appeal to the members gathered here, even the government, to help to ensure that the structure of Masetekuya is completed because he had serious plans. Part of that structure was to be made a hospital. So we miss all those, but we know with the support of the government and all the, uh, the mourners gathered here, we can think together and say how we can raise uh, the family uh, to the status that the Lord desires it to be. As a diocese, we want to pass over our condolences to all Christians in Mbale Diocese and beyond. The Christians of North Mbale, the Christians of Sebei, and, and all Christians who really share with us this grief for the loss of uh, Patrick Masete Kuya, who has been an exemplary leader as a, a bishop. I know I knew Kuya when I was a young man. He was an exemplary leader. He was a man of action. He was a man who could not actually waste time. You know, when he talked of doing something, he could do it. And that is the leadership that we have lost. And I want to appeal to, uh, to us all that we let's continue praying for the family. But uh, God can raise another queer. You know, the queer Masseta has gone, but he has left a family. It is my prayer that God can help us to raise another queer in this region. Friends, let's 
let's emphasize education. You know, when we say what we are talking about without education, then we would not actually see these results. So I want to appeal to Vama Saba. Let's make sure that education is given priority. If we don't educate our children, then we shall not get the Masete of today. You know, we have the Darlington Sanquas. You know, we, when shall we have that caliber of our, of our children today? We need to emphasize education. I'm beginning to be very serious with our secondary schools. And I want to tell you that we had challenges with normally uh, high school. But I want to assure members gathered here that bring your children to Nabumali. It is a transformed school now. The nonsense that was there is no longer there. The school is running very well. And I want to encourage you gathering here, if you have, bring your students to Nabumali. Nabumali is regaining its, its past glory. And I want to appreciate the NOSA, the Nabumali Old Students Association. They have... Uh, put a special hand in the development that we see, and we have streamlined the administration, we have streamlined the board, the PTA, and they are now focused. So when we go to every part of this, the, this nation, you will never fail to see a Navumalian in any office, because Navumal of that time was a star in this region. So friends, I want to conclude by wishing you um, a good time as we mourn our fallen uh, brother and we know the Lord has taken him. There is nothing that we can do, but I want to appeal the family that please maintain this legacy. You know, there is a tendency when we lose a such a, a, a patriot, there is a tendency of family members again getting confused and then they, they begin fighting over property and they lose focus. So my prayer is we must make sure that we keep the legacy and maintain the Masete Foundation so that tomorrow we shall not actually, we shall jubilate together when the foundation, the Masete Foundation again raises up very responsible people. So family members, I want to assure you that we shall keep standing with you in a prayer during this time of grief. And I know, pray for yourself as we also pray for you. So friends, I just wish everybody a uh, safe travel for those who will travel tomorrow to Svanga for burial. We shall be there and we pray that God will grant you journey mercies. And now, uh, I, I, I also want to, to introduce my brother, Bishop Samiri uh, Jidudu of North Mbale is going to be our preacher at this function. So we shall sing the, the remaining stanzas, stanzas or two or three, depending on what the mass of ceremony will tell us. Then we shall invite uh, my brother to come and share the word. Thank you, my Lord Bishop. Uh, we're going to stand as we usher in the, the preacher, the old bishop Northumbale. What a friend we have in Jesus, stanza to have you trials and temptations. Going to begin from there. Trials and temptations is a trouble anywhere. been discarded. Take it to the Lord in
Thank you for this day as we gather in your presence to pay our rest, last respect to our foreign brother, papa, friend, the late Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. Lord, we invite your presence to manifest in this place. We want to thank you for the life of your servants, his service. We thank you for his family. We thank you for all the great contributions that your servant has made. And now, Lord, as we gather here, may you come and speak to us. That, Lord, you may speak to us in the stillness of your voice. Because your word and word alone can comfort us, can encourage us, because you are our tower of strength. We dedicate the bereaved family into your hands. All the mourners gathered here, Father, we dedicate them unto you. That you are being the God of all consolation and the comfort, that you will come and speak peace to our troubled hearts. May you silence all other voices that we may be able to hear you and hear you alone speak to us. Father, forgive us, we've gone astray, and grant us the gift of your spirit. This we are. to take this singular honor to sincerely thank God for my brother Bishop Johnny Nanda the Bishop of the Dias of Mbale for inviting me to preach at this service when we gather here to pay our last respect to our fallen brother, friend, Patrick Masete Queer. I want to thank you, my brother, for this unity, for the propagation of the internal gospel of salvation, and for the unity of Baba Saba. Because as Masaba land, we have lost a gallant son, a man who has made a huge contribution as far as the development of this great land of Masaba is concerned. I want to take the same honor to welcome you all. I will not go deep in the protocols because I have no grace there. But I want to welcome you all in your various capacities, as we hear God speak to us. My name is Bishop Shamel Gidudu, the fourth bishop of the Diocese of North Mbale. And North Mbale Diocese covers the two districts of Blambuli and Silonko. And our descended quarters are based in Silonko. So I bring you greetings from the Christians of North Bale. They greet you in the Lord. Why don't you receive their greetings? Amen. Hallelujah. Our friends, I know we have very little time here, so I will not waste a lot of time. But before we share from the wealth of God's word, I want to say this. My brother, Bishop John, I always, uh, 
admire you whenever you speak because you speak with a, a lot of vigor. But for me, I will not do that because I am a visitor. <laughs> so I'm really very grateful. <laughs> and I know that the Lord will speak through us as we minister unto his people. People of God gathered here, we know that death is a common lot of all humanity. Strong as the body is, tall, fat, dark skinned or light, rich or poor, God sees it as a tent. And this, we see it from Paul's second letter to the church at Corinth. The portion of scripture that was read to us. But I want to thank God for the life and the ministry of our brother now lying in the casket. Professor Patrick Masete Queer was a developmental oriented person, an educationist. He will be remembered for his generosity by the church, a hard working and faithful servant by the nation of Uganda, loving and caring man by his family. And we want to thank God that he gave Professor Patrick Masete Kuya to us as a nation of Bamasava. And today we gather here to celebrate his legacy. Hallelujah. In our portion of scripture that we are going to share this early afternoon is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Uh, chapter 14. The we shall read from verses 3 to 9. And this portion of scripture reminds us that each one of us was created to make a contribution in this world. You were created for a purpose. So turn with me on the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 14, verses 3 to 9, and it reads, And while he was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining at table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment of pure nut, very costly, and she broke the flask and poured it over his head. There were some who said to themselves indignantly, why was this her? But Jesus said, leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. For you will always have the poor with you. And whenever you want, you can do good for them. But you will not always have me. She has done what she, she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for burial. And truly I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in the memory of her, the word of God. Friends, in this world, like I've mentioned earlier, we are created to make a contribution. And when you look carefully at this portion of scripture, reminds us of something very significant. What will you be remembered for? 
after your departure from this world. Because we are all sojourners, travelers, visitors in this world. This is a passing world. But what will you be remembered for? In this portion of scripture, we see our Lord Jesus Christ commending this woman of Bethany for her good work. Because this lady, the Gospel of, of John reveals her name to us, that she was called Mary of Bethany. So Mary of Bethany cho chose to pour out her expensive oil on the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But she was greatly humiliated and criticized for her labor of love. In this portion of scripture, we see that the world saw no value in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The giver of all precious gifts, the world saw no value in him. The founder and the perfecter of his church, the world saw no value in him. And when this lady Mary of Bethany performed this act of love and loyalty to the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ, she was greatly humiliated and despised. In this world, we have many fault finders. We have many fault finders in the world. But remember that what this lady did, Mary of Bethany, by anointing the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, her act will be remembered wherever the gospel is preached in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother and sister hearing me preach the internal gospel of salvation, what you, will you be remembered for? Your name will remain number one in your family. What kind of family have you left behind or have you uh, uh, brought up. Secondly, your name will be remembered by your works. We are here today in this stadium. My brother and a friend, Bishop John, spoke much about our departed brother friend, the gallant son of the soil. But not all. And he made a big contribution towards the building of this stadium. That he was instrumental in the raising of those halls. And today, we gather here to celebrate his work. The great contribution that he has made towards the development of Masabalad. Now, you, who is listening to me preach, what will you be remembered for? Remember that this woman of birth and Mary, when she chose to pour her expensive oil on the Lord Jesus Christ's feet, she was humiliated and criticized. The world saw it as a waste. The world saw it as a waste. This lady, this was not her first time to be humiliated. You remember there was a time when she even sat at the feet of Jesus and she was humiliated and criticized. Mary was a sister to Lazarus. She was criticized and humiliated by her, her sister, Martha. Many times, Mary was humiliated because of, her, because of her commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. There 
there are people who know the price of everything, but the value of nothing in this world. They know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. The world saw no value in the Lord of creation. What this woman did was a mark of great honor and respect to our Lord Jesus Christ. Good works are sometimes not valued, but misunderstood by fault finders. Because we live in a spiritually hostile environment. Spiritually was time of war. Fault finders trouble many people out of envy and ignorance. How do people vary your commitment to serving your nation? Our RDCs were here. Our dear RCCC or our political leaders from Masaba and beyond the civic leaders were here. How do people value your commitment in serving your nation? My brothers, the spiritual leaders who are here, how do people value your commitment in serving your nation? In serving the Church of Christ, in serving your community, how do people value your commitment? How many times have we been criticized for standing for a good cause? How many times have we been criticized for supporting our leaders, for, adv for advocating for justice? How many times have we been criticized? Let me read this portion of scripture as the Holy Spirit guides us. Mark 14. Verse 4 says, there were some who said themselves indignant. Why was the ointment wasted like this? Seeing an act of grace done to the Lord of all glory and the world is seized as a waste. Oftentimes in this world, we are surrounded by many false finders. They don't see any good in us. But my brother and sister who is gathered here today, I want you to remember that we have a God who appreciates and defends us from the hostility of this world. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says, she has done a good work for me. What good work have you done for your nation? In that great office of yours, Especially my brothers and sisters who are well positioned in those offices. What good have you done for your nation? What good have you done for your community? The late Professor Patrick Bassette Kuya will be remembered for his great contributions. He played a vital role for the building of this stadium. And not only the stadium, Bishop was telling me, when we have the Umani High School as one of the greatest or powerful schools in the nation, because Let Kuya played a part in the establishment of that school. What good will you be remembered for? The woman of Bethany was remembered for her good. And Jesus says, whenever the gospel is preached in this whole world, her act of grace, her act of mercy will be remembered. But she was humiliated. But she was criticized by fault finders. We have many discouraging voices around us. But the only thing that's required of us, if you are in any public office, always advocate 
advocate for a high level of tra transparency, of integrity, because we have a God who defends us. Hallelujah. Because we have a God who defends us. Because God tells us, this lady, leave her alone. Why bother her? Why criticize her? We have a defender in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have a protector in Jesus Christ. We have God who appreciates us. When we make a positive contribution in this world, what good have you done for your family? I believe the late Professor Patrick Masete Kuya, as an educationist, educated his children. Without that, some of us would not be here today. Because I believe most of his colleagues have gone to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. So friends, as I come to the close of my homily, let the story of your very service be told in the memory of you. As we gather here today to, say our last, to pay our last respect to our friend. Someone once said, I am only a man, but I am a man. I am only a man, but I am a man. You are only a servant in this government, but you are a servant. You are working for this government. You are only a servant, but you are a servant in this government. Work for the betterment of your people. Hallelujah. Because this man said, I am only a man, but I am a man. You don't need to be an RCC for Mbari City in order to serve the people of Mbari City. Remember that God has positioned you in that office for a purpose. You need to carry out your responsibility because there will be a time when all of us shall give an accountability before the one who has called us. This man went on to say, I cannot feed the whole world, but I can feed my starving neighbor. Let Nkuya could not build all the stadiums in Uganda, but he was able to build this one. You can also make a contribution because God has created you to make a contribution in this passing world. This lady did not wait until Jesus comes to her house. There was no time for that, but she grabbed the opportunity. Today is your opportune time to serve your people because you may live, but not see tomorrow. And that's why you have to make the best of your time. You are in that office. You need to make the best of your time. Friends, grab the opportunity today to break the bottle and pour out your precious heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we serve God with our shield, tower of strength, protector, one who values and appreciates our service. Finally, in every heart, family, nation, church, community, organization, name it, where Jesus is valued, where our Lord Jesus is loved, where our Lord Jesus is worshipped, a bottle of expensive oil is broken and poured out. A bottle of faithful service, a bottle of praise, a bottle of generosity, as we remember late Patrick Masete Queer's generosity as church. A bottle of expensive oil is, is poured. And Jesus calls this a good work done for me. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless us all.
God, our Father, we want to thank you. For you have spoken to us through your written word. And Father, we pray that you manifest in our lives through your living word, the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for the government of Uganda, for the support that they have given towards the befitting send-off of your servant, Professor Masete Nkuya. We want to thank you for the organizing committee and all those who have stood by the bereaved family. As we continue to mourn as a nation, Father, we pray that you will come and speak peace to our troubled hearts. Because you are God, our comforter, you are God, our encourager. Forgive us, we have erred, and grant us the, the gift of your spirit to be our guide. But even as we prepare to, to send off our brother and friend, that your name may continue to be glorified. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Bishop. I have a Bishop Yaki, Yoham, who put a husband we are going to stand on our feet as we confirm our faith. Writing the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, covered in Pontius Pilate, and was crucified. Get seated. As the church, we are going to conclude our service with offertory. I request the ushers in our church to come round and the one in the machine. They are going to work as a CJ now. You give us Christian Jesse. We offer to the Lord. Ushers can get two ushers in the other tent and the two here, and then you, you finish from here. Can you get the first ticket and start? Offer. Let me see as you prepare yourself for speeches. Uh, it will be upon you to make any speeches, but for Uh, I've been informed that the band has some interlude, so kindly to the needful, the band.
Ready, press, press. Thank you very much. At this time, let's pray for the our countries are given in that what God has supported us to do at this. Lord God, one thank you for this time you have brought us here. One thank you for the services led by our bishops and all of us who are here. Lord, you have tightened our pockets. There is a letter we have given to you. We are thankful for the Lord. We put it unto your presence that to bless it, sanctify it, to do, continue to do your service. We pray all this, trusting in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Um, I'm turning the microphone to you. A bishop of Anabalini program with Cindy. Uh, our Lord Bishops, uh, dear mourners, uh, we are now coming to the second phase of uh, the event, and now we are going to have speeches, but before that I want to, I'd like to uh, read uh, some condolence, condolence message here that comes from Mount Elegon Afro Forestry Communities Comparative Enterprise Limited. It says, on behalf of the board, management staff, and the farmers of Mount Elegon Afro Forestry Communities Comparative, we extend our deepest sympathies to the family of late Honorable Masete Kuya, the UPC Frontier, and the Patriotic Ugandans for the loss of this real patriot who loved his country and his people. It is obvious the government he served had remained in power for a little longer, and this they say, one, this stadium would not be the rains you see, and that two, Nabumari High School uh, would perhaps be a university. Three, they say, the blind tropical hotel on Wanare would be a reality. And four, they say, the Vududa Sachwa and Napanga Masifa roads would have been tarmac. We sincerely mourn him. May his soul rest in peace. Signed by Nimirod Wambete, chairperson. Dear mourners, they say a baby on its mother's back does not tell how long the journey is. Now, at this time, we are going to see uh, the report of uh, the representative of Naumari Old Students, NOSA. And may I take this opportunity to call the representative of NOSA, that is Naumari Old Students, to come and mourn together with us as we prepare to give a send off of our dear Professor Masete Kuya. Papa, engineer, you are welcome. Eh, but who are these Masete Kuya? I'm not sure which end of the tower. Cook? Mm. Let me see. But, but with your permission, thank you. You are fellow mourners. I'm going to try and be extremely brief. Uh, first of all, if Nosa has made a, a tribute to the late, which is written in here, so it will not be fair for me to repeat it. I'll just use this opportunity to do a few things. One is to thank the, the church for honoring our brother with such a marvelous service in an open air space. I thank you, uh, our leaders. I want to thank the MPs from Bali, or Elokon Zone, as they say, these days, because in Bali is no longer the Bali of those days, we now have many districts. I want to sincerely thank you for your very generous contributions in 
monetary terms in the time and in keep, uh, keeping us invigor uh, invigorated to do what we have done up to today and what we will continue to do tomorrow. I would like to thank the government of Uganda and in particular I would like to um, focus my my gratitude to our ambassador in Kenya, Dr. Galiwango, for the good job you did in ensuring that our brother leaves Kenya in a dignified way to come to Uganda. And of course, I don't want have to, to miss to mention that the government made its contribution towards funeral expenses, but I must clear the wrong impression people have been saying or circulating that this is a state funeral. No. State funerals don't look like this. For those of us who know them. The government contributed. But it's not a state what? Funeral. This funeral has been made by contributions from the government, from Bamasaba, from friends, from people, the fraternity of Namari High School. I want to thank the Mamasawa in Kampala who diligently and regularly sat to organize towards the funeral service of our foreign brother. And I want to thank the family of my OB, uh, Patrick Masete Kuya. You know, I have seen a whole range of you, young and old. I give you a salute. These are hard times. It's not easy to see people with strong faces when they lose somebody of that nature. So thank you, and we pray that we will continue in strength because death is an equalizer. It doesn't matter who you are, you will end, you will die. And Jesus was a clever, he showed us that he died. So who are you? You will all what? Die. Uh, to this level, I want to come back to <laughs> two issues. One, I want to use this stadium and its state to talk about leadership in our, among our people. I think we have a big problem. Let us not pretend. In Ibogisu or Elogon, call it whatever, we have a what? A problem. Surely, how can you go to parliament, go to council, year in, year out, and you see things like this? <laughs> and you put on suits and come here? <laughs> you have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And me, I don't care who gets annoyed. This is the truth. Be leaders. When you want to be voted, you pretend to be leaders. After voting, it is the pocket which matters. Masete Kuya did not build this stadium from his personal what? Money. He knew that the government in any country collects taxes, allocates money through budgets, gets loans, and runs the country. But now we have MOPs who buy ambulances and write their names. We have MPs who want to build the hospital. That's not your job, please. Do your job. Go and sucker for us. Go to Gambia and say, Mbale needs this, bring it. Bukis needs this, bring it. Don't tell us about ambulances, about planting trees. It's not your job. So I am using this to really reflect on how poorly led we are. And I hope that Masete Kuya's casket, which can't talk, informs you people who are leaders how to run a country. I went to bury Yona Kanyomozi a few months ago. He was a UPC. You should have seen the 22 tents in Russia, Mary, which were loaded with the people from across Ankoli. Look at us. Where is our leadership? Rivalry, backbiting each other, fighting, nothing. 
If you don't stop it, some of us who have retired shall come back. We will come back and begin. Politics are fresh. Because we can't continue like this. Roads are in a mess. How can you fail to collect money to run this stadium? I came here yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, to prepare for this. What did I find? There is no electricity here. There is no water. How can you run a stadium with no toilets? <laughs> but they are there. Master Kuya built them with water. They are waterborne. In there, up there, you see them? Those toilets, I inspected them yesterday. They are waterborne. But the, the unpaid manager of this stadium decided to lock them because if you leave them open without water, you know what happens. So for me, I've lost an OB. I've lost a friend. And I just want to, to close this with a, a nice joke. People used to talk about, they say, oh, Maseta Kuya was very violent. Maseta Kuya was this. I said, no. Maseta Kuya was a leader. I'll give you a, a, a little story. After he came back in 1979, then we met in Kampala. Then he came, now started running here as an MP. Randy, Uganda, Kampala, I mean in Bali. He put up on a bus, quick bus services, Sivanga, blah, blah. There was a place called Mass Club. They opposite the, the, the banks now. It was in the basement. Now, me, I was also a very young, dynamic man, so I went to have my beer. But Maseta Kuya had, had put up a rule. If you want to sit at the counter, you must buy two, two beers at once. So that you feel the special tumbler, which was the co the content was one liter. So you don't buy one beer, you buy how many? If you don't want to buy two, you want to sit down there. <laughs> so me being stubborn and thinking, because he was my friend from Naomari, I went and sat. And he came and said, Sakur, who was it? So I'm drinking beer. He says, no, you must feel this one, tumbler with the two beers. So I refused that we had a coro. But you know he was a great guy. After calling, he said, I went back and sat, but of course uh, he allowed me to drink my, my beer uh, half full. So we need leaders who interact with people. We need leaders who go and, and ask people what their problems are. I want to challenge our MOPs. How many of you have ever held a baraza after being elected? Tell me, if you have ever gone to your people and said, Valley, what is the problem here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that is my conclusion, but I thank you all for coming to commiserate with us as we send off our great leader. Long live the spirit of Patrick. I'm sure among the children and grandchildren will get leaders who will save this country. I thank you. Oh, thank you. Engineer Darlington Sakwa. You heard it from the horse's mouth as he shared a lot with the, uh, the late professor. And of course, I, I told you a baby on its mother's back does not tell how long the journey is. The one who grew and interacted with the professor, you heard it all from him. Uh, at the same time now, after NASA, uh, why can't we have uh, our ambassador, Dr. Kaliwango? Honestly, you did a lot of work, and like you heard from engineer, please. Hmm. It's...
people who have been in Nairobi know that on your behalf I talked in Nairobi. And the message I had, I delivered it in Nairobi. But um, those of you who think you know Professor Patrick, reality. If you wanted to know who Masete was, you needed to be in Kenyatta University to hear the students, to hear the parents, and to hear the professors there, what they said about this foreign hero. He has been a great ambassador for us in the Republic of Kenya, and he he manifested uh, the quality of leadership that made all of us proud. You have talked about my, when Songa said, uh, Professor was sometimes misconstrued to be aggressive. And I told those people in Nairobi, that professor was not aggressive. He was programmatic. He wanted things done and done thoroughly. I'll give you one story. In 1982, when Uganda was offered the opportunity to host the Eastern Central Challenge Cup, the late professor was the Minister of Rehabilitation but also privileged to be the minister or uh, the chairman of the National Council of Sports. And I closely worked with him. I was a youth in this town, and I worked with him. Uganda had to provide two venues for the Challenge Cup. One was obvious, that was the Kivuvo. The second one was contested. That was, it has either to be in Bugembe or to be in Imbari. And this programmatic leader, our hero, who was the chairman of the National Council of Sports, did something that very few leaders would have done. He knew that the threat to Mbari venue was Bugembe. Therefore, he got a tractor, went to Bugembe, and he dug across the stadium <laughs> from the Goro mouth to the other Goro mouth, so that the stadium could therefore not be used. And the only alternative for that matter was in the stadium. <laughs> that was Professor On the other side, the rules are Kirundas and others, but they had no choice. They could not plant the grass in one week and have a stadium to host the Challenge Cup. So it was a knockout. I am happy to be associated with a great deal of this type, and uh, that's why, on behalf of government, I did what I did in Nairobi. And last night I had to travel here to make sure that I am not only in Bali City, but I am also in Sri Lanka to see the great man. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for all of you who have been doing a lot. I've been following you on the social media. You have been doing a lot. But um, yesterday I wrote a small thing on that e platform, which was created. especially by the political class. Because the history of Bugisu has always been written in intrigue and in fighting. Our history 
There is no person who has become prominent in Bugisu and has not been fought. Very unfortunate. It has been a tragedy. I wish it changes with the demise of this great leader. <sighs> that is an ambassador, Dr. Hazani uh, Gariwangu. Papa Ambassador Wanyala. While Ingenia was talking, I saw like I, I saw uh, MP Honorable Mafavi Nandara. It must be around, Papa. Ah, uh, oh, Wanyala is a cooker. Wanyala is a cooker. Wanyala. And Nabona, Papa, are DC way kumi. Uh, Papa. So a shark. Eh, cook. I know Tampa, I have a room to have a room to have a cook. Yeah. Now, next we are having uh, a representative from uh, diaspora. They say when the Sultan of Zanzibar.
kuna yo aba alikusa busi maana ya wemba alingu yangu yo mwana wa mayo ali mtu mwa kuna nesa yo mwalondi no yo wali wa ila maruli la shina alindi na misolo ngu yo cha mamu mbo ngu yo kuna aba cha mile mumbo cha hole jesu vikula maanya la just like i was i was telling you that when the sultan of zanzibar plays his fruit people at the coast dance now can i have a representative uh, for people in diaspora nyenga mweli pale fuyo na know it aha representative for a member the diaspora eh eh ga gashitsa gashitsa kene we have a, a, a representative from Kenyatta University and of course when she comes or when she comes or when he comes three minutes representative from Kenyatta University uh, just hoping that within two minutes two to three minutes she will have finished that uh -huh. Uh -huh. then uh, can, I, can we have a representative uh, at least on behalf of friends we basale musale eh galiota uh can i have any chair person uh who any by you pc as a party uh as a party you pc eh cook for my savara my rureka saliva who's a manga who's a mabuli water yeah and the party here you could cook and go over the sheen and never leave colonial rules before a couple of that if the voice of an old woman is better than a padlock ah it's a cook Hello. Uh, congressmen and congresswomen who are gathered here. My name is Amakim Watanyeri. I want to inform you about the biography of the late Master Kuya. I knew him. Our fathers were obese. They all attended Waranga Primary School at Ibuburo. When Masete went to Ikizai, father used to ask his OB, where are, they, where are the abouts of his son? Said, okay, he's there, but he will come. So people have only praised the stadium, the stadium, but Masete Kuya was instrumental in convincing all IC countries, organization of the Islamic countries to bring here the university known as Islamic University in Uganda. That was in uh, September 1984. Kuya put on a cap as a Muslim, was dressed like a Muslim. Ingini Abri Nangwale, Professor Isaac Nutonojo, the Minister of Education, the Minister for Regional Cooperation, Sam Teungwa. These are the people. Then Sheikh Abed Kamredia, on the behalf of Muslims. That's how we managed to get that university. Otherwise, if Kuya had not intervened, the site in Arua had been condemned by OIC. It was in a, a danger zone that time. These guys over me used to fight, come back and go back in, into Sudan. And there was no electricity at the site, no landline. There was nothing, like a center where a student can go and buy anything. So when these guys went there, they condemned the site. They requested the president of Uganda to assist them to give them, to show them another alternative site. That's how we zeroed at Nkoma Senior Secondary School, which became the site of the Islamic University in Uganda. Up to now, it is still a site. It's not a fully fledged university. It has been sabotaged by some elements, some saboteurs. This one I have to mention to you people who are here who are responsible. Marcel Kui was not a, a Muslim, but his interest was only to develop Mbari. And this university has developed so many people. The, the beneficiaries is not very far from my side. He's Dr. Haj Hassan Gariwango. He's among the beneficiaries of that university. If, the, if the, this university was only here, you could not have him here as a doctor. So, he also, when he went to German, 
he convinced the Germans to bring Salem Brotherhood at Koroni. That one has also done a lot. It has contributed. It has employed so many people in Nimbari. But I'm surprised and shocked and even embarrassed that there is no representative from Koroni Salem Brotherhood are not here. The Islamic University in Uganda is not here. I don't know what has happened to them. Maybe they have been threatened not to come here. And that might be the reason. Otherwise, there is no reason they can give us not to come here. Without Masete, this university will not be here. There will be no development in Mbale. And that university must be an international university. Hosting, it was supposed to employ 10,000 workers. It was supposed to take 30,000 students. It was supposed to have one of the largest hospitals in, in, the, in the world. It was supposed to have one of the largest airports in the world. And the largest industries, hotels. But I'm surprised there is no single hotel which has been constructed by Islamic University. There is no industry. There is no hospital. A mosque is just a makeshift post, which is there. I don't know what has happened. Dr. Galiwango, I think you are influential enough. You are among the beneficiaries. Please try to follow up what has gone wrong. This university was allocated three billion pounds in 1984 for the construction. And the hospital was supposed to be with one billion pounds in 1984 to construct a hospital alone. Where, what has happened to that money? Have these people delivered that money to us here? Has it been pocketed? Or they, they rats ate the money? So I think that is my humble and simple submission. You know, when you are money, uh, you don't expect, we forget to say, when someone is money, you know how you can someone cry. You suspect anyone who have killed him, he him. So it is a common trust Bagisu. So that is how I'm mourning. So I don't know. I don't know, Papa. I keep my tenure. Yeah, yeah, summarized it. Yeah, he said it. And I who did that. Oh, we slowed it. I can't show you. Ne, I'm not going to go away. Ne, Dr. Kaliwango Bakurume, oh pap, eh, mbo fo masabaro ma waringe tsale liyo, ne wanga bo ni shisho leba kwe fe ne wanga tambenda ingara no suta. Wanya na kukuka, ba suta mwa uri ye. Yes, why not this time that we have our Lord Mayor, pap, wo mwa ye. But of course, ga uta kuita. Now, I want a week high in the papa, whatever on ambition. Why not a cook? Why not? We had any lordy mayor, any mobile believer, I remember what Tampa, in Gabuan, but who your son, but who Nanga Wauna, we had here, Papa. So, why Papa MC. Eli, a bishop Pepe Bana, Guria Mohorokuno, a honorable member of the parliament. RCC, Nibara DC, the first and a good yoga, and Nibari, the Menayo, and I cook a humbuke, and of course, Kamaskakaba Manjimavi, a Kimogana Hola, Lafuja Kashifavi, Ne Mubio Sitsana. I just also want to take this opportunity first of all to thank all of us. For, ten, for turning up to see our hero go back to his permanent resting place. I think at this time we only celebrate his life because he has done what we feel was worth and is the reason why we are all talking positively. The most important thing is the lesson we learn from his deeds. And I think uh, my brother and senior Engineer Darlington put it to us and our leaders that this stadium shouldn't be looking like this. It should look better. 
at one point, I think when we were running up and down soliciting for help to improve that pavilion, I was shocked when I landed on one of the would-be donors saying I wanted to go rehabilitate the toilets, put the roof on the pavilion, but I was denied permission. And these are the kind of people the rate is now listening. Because unfortunately, they can't talk back to us. But I think we need to develop the heart for Mbari. Mbari City is our bedroom, for our sitting room for this region. We all rotate through here before we go to our other destinations. When we are sharing the issues and the things that were put up by the late professor, I have not heard where he said for me, I come from senior quarters. I don't like people of Indian quarters. For us here, we've been discriminating along lines of you stay on Naboa, me I stay on Republic Street. And yet we have common problems. There are things that should unite us. And these are things that pertain our region. We suffered the devastating rains that happened here. And up to now, I think we received initially some 27 million to repair the roads. People are bashing us. But that is what we received. It can't be repair one bridge. Later on, when we raised the issues, we are given close to around 280 million. We added around 180. It made around 500 million. But what happened? The money was put on the line of paying allowances, not activity. And in accounting terms, when I was here, they said there is a mischarge. If you use that money, then you are going in problems. How do you put money on allowances? And yet the roads need to be repaired. So we want to request our leaders that please, there are things we can do at council level that we have influence and we can. But there are things that you can help us pursue. Please follow up with the challenges we are facing in the city and help us from the center. Push for some of these things. Let's put out the small, small issues that sometimes make us fight here and get tired for nothing. But let's focus on real issues. There are even some, some members of parliament can't cross to their areas of residence because the bridges have been washed away. But we are curtailed. You are not fighting with us. Uh, Hawashi, the first mayor when this stadium was being constructed, said they moved together with the late Patrick, now professor, to have this stadium be built. Why not moving with us to have the roads repaired at least if we are not even building new ones? We are not asking for so much. We are not asking for allowances. Personal, I use my own vehicles. I will not disturb you that I should get an official car. Because I know by the time I came here, I had something. And as a mayor, you don't come to make money. You come to add because you are retiring and you are now relaxing and serving the community. But we are pushing for things that help the community. Number one, has no school. We are pushing for a school that wanted to make a government school so that that community can be helped. We are not moving along with our members of parliament. So there are simple things we are asking that we feel affect and can impact the community, but you are letting us run on our own. Kindly, let's run together. Let this be a learning moment for us to do things differently, to see that our region much, much improve. We as a council, we cannot do much. We can only now, in honor of our late, rename this stadium. But can we rename it looking like this? We must rename it, but have an improvement on it. So I would really want, to, even when the councillors were pursuing that we have a council today, and rename this, I said we are not in a hurry to do that. We must sit and say we are renaming a stadium that we shall now unveil looking better. But you can't just name and we go and sleep and say, you know, we have now named the stadium and then we go away. No. Now, members, you are here. We are going to call a special council. We want all our honorary members to be present. In memory of this stadium, let's all be there. We rename it, but improve it to make it look better. That is when, where he's lying, he will say, yes, we have done something. But you can't rename and leave it looking like this. Engineer was saying that the toilets, we can't go there, and that's why we are having now improvised the toilets. We shouldn't do that when this place already have 
waterborne toilets that only need improvement. You guys can afford to surrender 50 million, 20 million, 1 million. Can we all this and the next time we come and assemble here, maybe in his memorial service, we take the stadium looking better. And therefore, I wouldn't want to say much, but I want to request all of us that let's pick a lesson from here. Let's have a love for one another. Let's have a voice coming from this Eligod zone. Let's not have these issues of pulling one another down. Some of us, the battle we've been now battling in the city is about land grabbers. The people who are owning up money is supposed to go to council to do council work. And those are some of the things that have some, labeled some of us bad people. But the things we all do must really be aimed at helping the community. This is a community stadium. The other day we were having a battle where people wanted to host here. Having planted this grass, voluntarily with, of course, uh, honorable uh, women, the Koni Kaliwanga, and others, this was grass. You know, this place was just like the way you'd see there. It is like you, you would think there are papers here. We now turned it green. And then the only thing that we want to do is now host concerts to do away with the green. That is a strict requirement for us to have a stadium looking better. And then others are now battling to some of the would be plots to pick them and own them up. These are the battles we are what? Instead of saying, how do we add? How do you go look at the way Arua is doing this and we do ours even much better? But we are only focusing on, to the extent that we are not even selling roads and turning them into plots because what, if I do this, how do I benefit from it? Why not do something that you will not benefit? So for us, the things can can make it better look better is this stadium. Of course, we thank management of BC, they have done their best. BC is existing, we are now having it. So why not do this as well? So I want to break that as council, yes, we've agreed that we must, of course, it's an obvious thing, we don't even need to say we are going to be better about it, that this must be renamed, clearly, but not only the name, we need to have this stadium look much better. And it's the only gift we can give. The let say that he was to wake up and come back during the time we are holding his funeral, maybe here. He will say, yes, at the time I was going, things looked bad, but they are now better. May his soul rest in peace. My name is Kasim Namgad. Thank you. Uh, wow. Pap, thank you for that wonderful speech. You have heard. That's our Lord Mayor. Uh -huh. Pap, go home. I have a lot of people who are going to go home. I have a lot of They say, do not talk of dry bodies when there is an old woman. You may think that you are talking about it. You are talking about it. You are talking of renaming. And honestly, if it was to rename, such a Ngana Bashi of Vanya, Colemaro, Gavasari, Mukaswasari, Aba, Uma, Nanenga, Abewa, Musima, Vulaita, and you have to hide in Tinkasimir, I have in Tinkasimir. You will have a Sara or Kuro Kukari, Abu Trikari, Adina Itu. So, I forgot to have who's in Zil, Maya and I was a good idea. Why not? Honestly, Papa. Papa Shak, Aradisi, so Arasisi Aradisi, so my granddaddy can Arasisi Arasisi. Papa, it's all in the honestly, it's all in the hook. Eh, yeah, Papa, what a castle, but it was money, would you over it? Papa, I let a while, you hoof. I see Papa Bishop, the one who lives in the American city. I see Ambassador Wefe, Kenya. I see Valley Bemu Sitan, Mugu Saniriano, the mine of Papa Nibaya, Mania Rokita Hurina Yaya, Professor John Patrick Massete, Mashesa Hodi Mwena Yomu Sitan. Asirisi inabana anga washaki ahamada Na bere ho Ara disi ima anafa Nisi papa yubata kumualisa 
nalo kwa CC mbali ali ndi RDC ikumi amakwitsa na cherewe lemo bwe bufurisi bwo kali butwera cha nebe kuba umulebe isikuru kuza kwa lisayu yu isis ngo umuntu ari ho shikarishe sangorera kuba shesi ndi runa kubesha lero a umulebe isikuru za kwa lisayu yu iseba na ku mumanya ati nisha mumanya sana mumanya sawe buhangara ni kwabao imbuka yonga kuri ho Musani kuna waluru mira kuna bakula angabari amini Nga kuro makobusa ni risi nori amini No musirikari wa huli anga amani loro mori amini umura yoko omu vita Mwaba kuwa alisa hata yoba hupari isa si wafu ate mbae suta kuwa batawe Nadi ni chimi kori kumila chisesa wa Na babutu wera kuwa anaba amasawa Wabe tu vila umbu kangara ni bobo Kubo na huri Kuambana ni ba Tanzania Kupa nise umulebe yu ya harureo Umulebe yuyu Aba ando huli yanu Ngani huli la huli Huli husi hashi yanu Asheba ama saba Ate humanya huli Uwela nyala huu huwani huwashi saote Umulebe yuyu yaba minister Umulebe yuyu Abu mwika wibu masaba enenu Nembu kayesi mbele mba masaba Kuno hunu Kutuye kuba ni masete kuyayu Eba huli iso haku nduo mbeka metu Ata nitu ili Ina bumbali, ya ya ingini ya anjala wa ba kubu juu lizi, amara huu romba ba hanuwe mochi sita, ni wachira wari ra hizo watu wana iberiiri. So yes huri huu si kaiu, aringe febe sharero, huri o sharero, sharero hii singa wengine sako ri wao moro huu sora ni somo ndo uibali hizo, ai dewe nufa, ubanga ri huu mbwa kwa wara disi kuba kusabi ra kari 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 ba kuone. Sharero shish. Masete kuyayu yu, nusaku webu nedi nangwari. Injini ya saku ayu ya nyalawa mba kubutu zule hupani yaba ambi ni government yu na hii. Ati ya mujamani, huti ya huu nwego shetinga, huu rena kimi rore, kiesi mwabu na asake, jaba ko kukwa na kutipa nenga, kubwa ko ni kukwa ane nyuma kimi benzi, jaba ena ayu. Jaba asake, ito royonga wani kuwaru kutu, huti ya mbala. Nenga wata mbule yu, bajamani maru mbali, ene minister wa huwele di li na hii, ne ari, Kaku kure elemo na kama troka ha na wote tuzo horeshi, wote tuzo tuzo timi rem, abaromari na chifukira wae, wewe huba singa ba bora kwa ndege ni moto haya tenge ni ni kampi saka chiku dita baadhi, wa maye rafi ni shibenzi shewe, shikare ibu duda mu manire ibu chiga, so fe fe kuri yano, she simba romba, kuhesa busi njomo e kumuzi ndaro kuharu mahe masete abo mnai he masete abo mnai ato ruko mnai. Iwo fuba kopo nori washa kipa muo na kubwa ra DC. Iwo uli huka ni kire njema wewe kumusi ndaro. Ori washa chatu misani be kama sawa washa chatu misani ni mabi fubenga ni shinori uyokare na ati. Ari niye siuru kwa risa yuyu. Isomu lebe yuyu. Maji le umunda nyama mar washa kipa kubwa shuka kuti abu UPC. Ah chira kani kha. Bula ikuwe na re muta. Isa isa shitu funa bwa UPC ni wanga le ba injili ya saku ai. Manyo wa uliyo kumbuni kodi kana basa kwa muziki kano wa ame bari washa kia ba kula rodi bro kumu kampala mbwa kula kula rodi bro kumu kampala kumi ba ba nukare seba yitoish nesi inga na ba kore na badi ya ba na ba masaba inga di mui ya ya ubote ya ya badi ya ba pi fiba mi na wukari ya ba pi fiba ni nini era rutoere ses inga di ni bufu ni siwe na ba inga bi se budi sitia ba ba kubu bufu ni sate bora ba bora ni injili ya saku ina mbora ukambe ni rati na washa kiyo mure ba ba badi tu sali ya tabul. Na ya baba na baba siri kare mbuka yoyo, inga baba mburu mbele sorry nde ya kuhu, aba arau road buroko wiva, atenga mani lenga msebe na shiri kuit, aba singo ba ni mundo ndo era no risa we no eta ni mundo ino go buri msiri kare, inyomo e simbari sa sa na baba mamo nde rampe sa tewe buri mundo are, mau re baka re nevo wo ba funi ya keri kambirat, so chibo bono re ala, kwa shira kufuki risa ni wanga banga huli nita ukare yebi buri, president msebe ni wa arera sari temu ina mbomo na mani. Era, umu sirikani inga wako nene kemi sirikari, pap! Paka na wafuna shita ambiso, awe nene ya wene. Era ni yesi kulo mera haa. Ya, ya masete sikuru kwa alisayuyu. Government, wangareba ambasa na wefoli ya, yitzi nene kamani hubo neri kubo somu anawefe. Esi, no mera haa, angaba ya, ya, 
aki maro mera ria ba a ba kana kuhure ya poti kuna nuko ku university ne kuya poti mu makambi raba soma kosi ba biye shuri ya ya we injili ya injili ya unyarawa ra we ya poti ba esi njara mutani kila ni esi gei ningira ya kora shi ya tabuliat ne esi no mera ano ano governmenti ya rashi shi ba so shi 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 si ya nyora mungora ira university arilio no rucho ba masaba ba shas ngamariris ati ba masaba na dada ni mburi mu kufobi ya bufunis. Inyo ndi nyomu ifef, nipo kuikerele ba abibabene. Nasenga ndi mu, kwa kuikerele ba abibabene. Kuti ya ikapalo riso sabo orele, ishi ndi mbaare. President Musebe no reza, ali wae waku imabifu, waku imabifu. Nora amara kuhu wabifu, singaba waku shiye wogo mwana wo, uriyo kalaru ulireo. Chiko kono wali budi, bara angini sibo 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 Kwe kuti ni kada te kurume mabuli yangu seba ndoa buya bamba ndeba na ba kuko mbolo mla lawe zari ya wali musari wa senat mara na kampi sana e nu kuhole shinga nu ne wengo wa kubukura hari ukaha meona sh senat mureva ngani zano ne zana shi sene zana kuwa risati ni mbali bamba piki piki nifu ali woka na misa ushi shinga huna taba mukumu oyoko ibiasi na ibeya makuli ra ha kena bikuwele biang so ba rangi ni sasa sasa osi sade simuli obo ni member wa parliamenti. Oboli ambasada, oboli nanu, oboli yesu uba Rambira wa mwende shitufu, wa shiro rambira wa mwende Chimi nyabu kari rambira basho, ni huchiti ya basho Bakole shimi, badine ya ngaji So, ngani kwa alisa, ya ya maasete yuyu Ina akobu ujulizi Haba anaba maasete bali ya banyara ba anjulizi Nga muli ya muna ya mwa anjulizi Kasa nga anzi ya maanafu Ba anu mabali ya maasete yuyu, umu yekera wa maasete yuyu Umu yekera, nga naba murisa risa Kana kumu kasi sara mevulafu Bamu bukuleke biye we, nesis, we kuba bantu mbaho government, na 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 reba prime minister we ni na bembo kaya ba doctor hukara lugumu, ira kuba bakuli ni mshikori inge we we naro ma iba ndo bana bari, maseto muyeke, ne so of course inga kia kunenga ara diswe mana fana kuba bana hori kodiot, ne papa prime minister na government ifa kuro mas, anu mari maseto ari ni kumuta wanita, na kubo leyo, na eza si shema wa we nunga kusafu simba ma, so balebe. Masete yuyu kumwekwe sabe na kwa abe ya hand sana kwa ni government ineta iraba kuna kana burai ni government ine ira chilo bano rudi ifre ifre ngaba nukuvere muu muu PC ingabi na indi pa pa uboto muri sana kulekira wa kena uyoa kura memora na uwa sana na sana digi ni government ariwa huwa nuko hana wamu kera mana yari ministra muga government kuna fe kuna ndelele kuwe ne kwa kwa kufule chesi kwa kunyare kuzua zua. Mwanya na nabi, masepe suli, wele, akuwe shiumuro, shira hii, mwanya na kumbeke. Ok, kwa shu kuseta, I wanted you to, ula angiba, ala DC bosa na value, yoko, wali kukona isi, ala DC, ba, kwa kwa value, na, ala sisi, na, ala sisi, ala angiba, ala DC. Eh, wale vena mba, papa, wanya na nabi, ba mwe promotion, isi uko, ama mumba, ala sisi, anga ala sisi, wati ye kumi, Ari kumi huu mbala ena abina abaku abe si tendi ni busi. Actually, it was promoted because Bali City was a very small area. Then it covers a big district. Papa wanya. Before masabara ma alibari ngawa wale mo nwa kapa kwa njia kaka sola na kodi beri ya mawe. Ngawa wale papa wacha kunya kaka sola papa wai na wai upiswa tume na rami. Hey wanya na. Uh, can I take this on? I take this on to invite RCC Papa. It's a kukuka, eh, Papa. Whatever. Gamutia Sivan, can I move to Rena Mari? Can I move on? Can I move on? Yes, it's a part of the past. It's a whole end of Mari. Same way, when I wait on the castle, Senior Linda, come up with Gakar and Mayo, and about Lake Asari Valibus Manga was a mobile yard, Papa. Eh, Kuka. Now go eat the old Balmuchini and Gare, but I don't know who it's all written. Papa, I'm I'm just going to just two minutes. Please, you are on that. Yeah, I you. Thank you, Master of Ceremony. I would like to thank all of you who have come here, my dear mourners. And I want to congratulate all of you who have contributed to this moment when we have to remember and put our words together to thank Professor Patrick Masete Kuya, our own, our great leader, 
who's just not anywhere, but I know is in heaven because all of us are praying for him to be there. My name is John Rex Achila. <laughs> I'm the RCC of Bali. About three weeks now, hold since we were we were changed with the, my my friend Amada Washaki. And I want to say this, my dear Monas. First of all, I want to thank you, the religious leaders, for your kind words of consolation. And in your togetherness, you have also reminded us, as leaders, that we must emulate the same. That the whole of Bugishu, religious, clergy, people are here praying for only one person. And the same requires to be replicated by all the leaders, not only in Bugishu and Masaba, but the whole country needs to learn from this. Secondly, my dear mourners, when we are here today, we are reminded that death is a reality, and it's for all of us, and we must admit it. And while still alive, let's all plan and prepare for this moment. There's no way you can escape it. You can dodge it. You can hate anybody. You can build your own atmosphere. Whether in the utopian world, where under earth, still, you must come to your last. What do people want to know about you? This is the time for us, my dear mourners, to recollect our present time, our previous stay, and prepare our memory cards for which the world and other people read us. We should now write ourselves into the pages of history. We should also have this time as a moment of reconciliation. I have been following up a little bit of words in vernacular, but I want to say, with the death of our great leader, Masete Kuya, we should all come to the sense of making sure that we reconcile, forgive each other, and humble yourself to know that we must have something to do and leave a legacy. A legacy to be remembered, not to be hated. I know there are some people who are good and they want to be in the pages of Satan. Please, you will go there, but I think our prayers today is to, all, to have all of us here. I want us to take from the words of the mayor. He says we cannot name this Masete Queer National Stadium, but he has already said it. And if he has said that, then all of us must get reminded and put our words together and lobby. I want to lobby my friends like I have seen a great leader of the opposition, my friend Nandala Mafabi. I have been with them in, in parliament with Lydia Wanyoto. These are my colleagues in parliament. And that this is the time for us to pick some of these words. For me, I picked it that we need to come together and influence government so that even our city Mbale, for which we are all proud. You know, Soroti has just become a city. I'm told next year, Moroto also will pick another one. But this is the whole home we must all cherish. And I'm proud to serve amongst all of you to see that we do something for this. And I think that's the reason why I've come to join you in this city, so that together, if God can use me as a, as a medium of reconciliation and togetherness, I'll be proud and I will be remembered for it. Thank you very much. I say all this for God and my country, and may the soul of my friend, my honorable friend, Patrick Masete Kuya, rest in eternal peace. Thank you. So, Kanya na ipa pa si si. Kaliwera hura ambisire. Gapa pa na afaru join ngayo pisi kupa. Eh, masari. Kama zika kama kari. Uh, Please, you just have to uh, accept me. I had to rush quickly on in the interest of time, but I left one very important event. It is good. My friend Manandala Mafabi is here. All my colleagues who are Hara DCs and probably other CCs who are here, please come and let the people appreciate that we are together. It was a 
very slight omission, but very, very dangerous. It will be very dangerous for me to leave my colleagues, although Amada stole the, stole the show, you also come, <laughs> because I'm the authority. Papa and I said, I never have a number of DC Coca. So please introduce yourselves and let the people appreciate that we are together. Thank you. Thank you so much, RSC. I'm Patience, I'm the resident district commissioner, Manafa, where we are going to take the lead. We want to welcome everybody to Manafa tomorrow. And uh, if possible, as we take him, can you kindly escort us? I want to thank the people of Sroko, where I'm born, and I'm seeing my brother, Honorable Nandara. Thank you so very much. And Honorable Lydia Onyoto. And uh, Pony, thank you so much for coming. You have made it for me. Thank you so much. Washaki Ahmad is my name. I'm one of Kumi. You can add that one of those who don't tolerate corruption in this country. Thank you so much, uh, DMC. I'm Paul Kagenyi. I'm Kagenyi Ruka, the deputy RDC Manafa. Thank you. Manya and I was a Papa Shaki Wanya. Nariabo, Mora Marocoba, no more than you are, no more about who parried a funa, I believe. Yes, Papa. Baba Bishop, Hamilio, Baba Patrick Massette, Kumore, Miss Avese, Kukuriako, Midam. Most cases, to watch a woman of Zoom, Uberay, who call mistakes, who call organic. Never about to Ariano can get the Coreva Somesa, Ninga Chiku organic. Baba Bishop Pussy, Muyano, Yana Pussy, my Ingenia Sakwa, again Kachit Chile, Bakusika Kanyomoza Nevayo, and Mutuaganica, Kukanyomoz, Atom Saluena, Ava Chris Wakasis. If I'm wrong, I'm Jokis Gamba Dile. Bakromera bati bata wachivi na chivalanga bati ipungam group ni kampal. Babu sana pesa gavata bili onri kumi na star entungam. Namao na zebushi bishop wechacho biugan aga ni karuzu muno la aga ti almatins aga ni kamuwe fe china chaga ni almatinge fe fe. Chicken Mamasa sick. The quadia near Mukampara, or you move. The quadia near Ren, or you move. Or I know can a cook and a kanga caton. Can a cover rompa, can a rompere and go be mechanis. In a fabagi suka queen, you can call it a hardware. Wawero. Cooperation. Oh, no, what a yellow man over there. Pao esi kani se romete umamu siki tu wezo aguati yero nyowe la udere umamu wezo aguati rwe de nyowe la udere face kurumu tu muzi mdezana vivi na vyoku na vyo vilinga zimotok yoku kuele kampara yoku kuele solot nenga wata misi le motoke no chifaa bingo kuzi kampara ona gumu mezi chile ona gumu mezi na anu ukabani wewe funis. Usamba Gawoda, the Bible in the Koran Romet, 
Nategeza nga bona. Nukusoka. Ibai buli ni na. Yenji mwezi mwari anu mwezi ya mwelewezi dindi zosi. Kuri ni saa. Ili mbai buli ni mukara. Nagina nga batiba tikitafe. Kitafe. Mwenye amasu na kitafe. Kitafe alimu guru. Ili nyari ya tukuzubwe. Obaka baka babu uje. Vya kala kwa na mwusi. Nga wadu kwa na mwusi. Otuwe mele ya fe, alero. Otusanyo okono na kwa fe. Nga fa abasanyo abato ono na totu ala mukemo. Nyo tuloko na mubi. Umango waka waka. Nubu inza. Nekitiwa. Vivyo. Emelembe. Amen. Nga nomu wata alume ati Muhammad. Mwamu wame leko lisi na mkusawa. Mwamu leko Muhammad. Mwamu leko Yesu. Kuta ambisa zidini kukala na gemu. Kuchieda. Uluku ulira. Kichika ya kajese ngena kusi mabaye. Wa bishop mba. Wa district kati. Wa jene lagwe. Ranyi mkubo wana kuko jende ya gena wena. Hadwele mubu jishumosi. Bako olese ya matikuwa kakuba yena. Kakuba hadwele. Kemunari maluji umbada. Kakuba hadwele. Ni stedi ya mwemu lukuga ni kenu. Kena wada. Uku ulira. Kwefenga kwazi ili ringa ushia kore ili. Baba seneze levana basoma. Nunge deko chitu temuna. Musa. Nesena andalangu wapi lena wa mazeta hawa. Foku lichina. Chufu hawa. Walire. Nge bati nge kugana kufune. Kukona kendayena. Bati nge kwa jende na adwela. Ibu jisi na choka. Buga hati kukira adwela. Kujende adwela nga wana. Majusu. Masete kule kakubano nga afine. Wamutisa mtu wala niyo vwa shati. Rochini. Ayi mbaka hapa zinzu. Baadhi ya mate kula kunga ya zanako wala kwa nena. Hapa nako nena. Na nuru tinga mate kula go 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 maset. Ame kampala. Ame kampala. Bile fufaji sufe niyo kuru tinga mbana. Nga ze Kenya aza. Wakasis. Wakasis hawe prison. Hapa prison. Nia kajaba moja. Hapa baidari yoko lai. Hapa maximum. Wamu ili ya video. Bato wazo kumbwana, ba mwe inzu. Atili ndo kenya ngenura niyo okolechi, niyo otule. Ifamu yepa o wambako. Makake yeka haba mara hii. Kata anariyo. Inya ngenono imba ye nare mupaka. Niyo imba ye nare mu. Imba wuri na vivi na vimu limo. Inya ngenono mwesi. Tano mwe muke muke na yupi sita. Muku kena kwa kuba mabwane ingini ya mabwane profesa koleche. Afi na mwande kuba mwukui odakuli. Ndi Nukulukuchi alo kwa leke uganana Inya ngeinu wala kakuna Nukweze kuzokato wala kakari ya nene We volebe Haka ni kevi gari I want to thank all of you who came from Mono with us On our little brother Masete Professor I wish I had the opportunity To be like him But I could run I can't, we shall always try But he loved the Jesus he loved the Buddhism. I want to make one correction of Ayu Ayu. Ayu was supposed to be taken to Kampala. He carried a file to the late Dr. Milton Obote at State House and said, Sir, if you want me to survive, sign here for my people. And that's how Ayu, Ayu came in the body. He was not a Muslim. I don't know if uh, he did it what, but he was not a what? A Muslim. I have spoken many things and I will continue because I have to run away. I have lost my mother. I'm going to bury tomorrow in Ubisita. That's why I'm going away. But as a commitment, in the name of our life, brother who is lying here, I want us to, from today, we start unity. From what today we start what? I want to thank my RDC, Achille, Alex, you're most welcome to Bali. You mentioned a very big statement. You are going to reconcile us. That means who went away was unreconciling us. Please do reconcile us. And I can tell you, all of us love Bukiso with one word. What? Mayor, Lord Mayor, kindly work on this as your project. Work on this your project. 
as a commitment, as a Mugisu, who has this stadium. I am going to bring the engineers on Monday with a budget of 50 million cash to work on those toilets so that we can always be there ourselves. God bless Mugisu. God love us, Mama Saba. Wherever Masete, I ask you to really put him in that good place until we meet again. Until we meet what? Again. The children of Masete, I want to also make a commitment that I want you to come back. I am the one of the only men in Gibagisu. I am ready to work with you and ensure that your home is restored as your own your father wanted it. Your father called me in August. I made a mistake. I never went on time. When I went in November, I got him. They told me I can't talk to him, but I knew he was sick. I'm not a rumor monger. I couldn't speak to him, but I tell him Professor is sick. But I don't know. I want to repeat again. If you remember, if he told you what he wanted to tell you, kindly tell me. Tell me. If it is money, give it to me. <laughs> if it is land, give it to me. But I know he wanted to tell me that we must be united as Majisu. And that's why I'm speaking like that. Where Baba, Nindo Baba, Masete, where are you? So, Papa Bishop, Zimurio, Abena Sabendi, Papa, Honorable Ganum, Rome, or politics, Usama Wahuli. Epoca, a bony mobile believer, but where are the man who can accumulate or Sabakumukat? Gariba, Rasabra, who am Bolivar, Papa, where are we, Koranganum? Ah, uh, for by MPZ, my my honorable MP, it's a very MP, West and Papa Nambe. Dimuite, Dimuite Kukuka. I want honorable Nambe, Shawa, one million Kukuka, a former Savara, my one coming the other going your own, and I'm not who are my waiting. Ah, is Papa Nawai. I can listen to the people who are coming here. We are here to help the people who are coming here. We are here to help the people who are coming here. We are here to help the people who are coming here. We are here to help the people who are coming here. We are here to I said that I had to prepare for it. I see my committee will have a chef many leni. In our mutuera, who will lead the Kamaska, come Kanawa F. John Patrick Professor Masate Kuya. I was his admirer right from primary school. I was much younger when he was active politically. You know, I sat my period in 1982. When he was a minister. And my O level in 86. And being an Amalian, he was my inspiration, particularly in sports. I was not doing very well in football, but I was a boxer. But boxing was not very pronounced incidentally in the Mali. But how he won my admiration is because of his aggressive lobbying skills. This man could call shots if you were to compare and contrast him with the present the ministerial occupants. He would call shots. Today what we have, uh, have a micromanager above them and the things are not like what it were. That's why Ibugisu was able to acquire what every other mona is making mention of. This facility is cut us off his efforts. IU, IU, name it, 
all this that we acquired is because his name was very influential, very significant, and as we mourn this icon, the son of the soil, is is a gigantic size of manner of proportions. Now, many death is very very powerful. It kills. It can kill good people like him. But the comfort I give to the family is that uh, death does not kill a good name. Masate Kuya, his name and his labor will linger on for generations because of what he was, because of what he did in the lives of others, particularly Masavalan. You know, there is some genius who said that the people in the world no longer care about how much you know or how great you are until they get to know how much you care for others. He cared for this Masavalan. Majegere Senior was a honorable Nathan and Arama Fabio and Mahong Rabu Vinavio. Was a vessel in the Iriu. A Marawach is of a Murugan. Now comes. No, I won't ambassador now. Baba Hokaraka Tajimia Rajawara Kanekari Muta, whom I was a Murugan. We were all your team meters. They found Akana who will now be bullying Gawasa with the Murus Ahua, Mother Tang. By the way, if you have a child, you can't get a child. If you have a child, you can't get a child. If you have a child, you can't get a child. If you have a child, you can't get a child. If you have <laughs> Briefly, allow me in the figment of my very rich and fertile imagination to imagine. I'm imagining that if God did it again like he resurrected Lazarus, I know how Masatekuya was very close to the powers that be. He was very close to Dr. Milton. Obote. And if God were to resurrect Dr. Milton Obote, who is lying in Akokoro, the son of Opeto, he would actually come here to attend his funeral. He would be here. I'm imagining that he would have used this route through Soroti up to Mbale. But his first tears that could have rolled down his cheeks would have been in Mbale. Setting his eyes on Mbale, the city, the city. You know, if you choose to baptize Nambeshe, who is not a doctor, doctor. Oh, the respected museum engineer, Darlington. You baptize him, Archbishop, when he's not. You are at liberty. And Mbale, our city, he would cry. Why? Because this, at his time, was the cleanest. And had all the benchmarks, the standards, the qualifications of a city. Today, why is it a complete opposite? I've been sharing with the Lordship, the mayor, the Lord Mayor, about, uh, you know, I sit on the budget committee, is dental. Our budgetary estimates are known. But up to now, as we talk, in the financial year 2022-2023, not even a penny has been released to this city. So you wonder, is it a share of sorts? Anyway, I will not lament. But Dr. Milton Obote, after crying or shedding tears in this city, he would be guided to Sivanga. But, but he would want to visit the hospital in Bale because it's a regional hospital. And definitely would have asked to be taken to Ruda Hospital because he commissioned it way back in the late 60s. 
and he would cry because he's more of a mortuary than a hospital. Then from there, he would head to the funeral at Sivanga. And that is where he would want to know how about the National Referral Hospital, where if he indeed the late was in Uganda, he would have sought a little medical care uh, from. They would tell him that to seek any medical health care for you of the political class would be suicidal. Discuss. Because most of our high class, I could mention, have gone to Kenya where he was living. Nairobi Hospital has seen off the late governor of Uganda, General Pekos Kutesa. These are the recent cases. General Eli Tumwina, I would mention 17 of them. If I knew I was going to have an opportunity to say something. But those are enough. So I'm compelled and persuaded to believe that if it were not Kenya and being close to Kenyatta Hospital, maybe you would have died long ago. That is where healthcare services are much better. But you remember, Obote would remind you in his speech at Sivanga that when he had a, an emergency, he was shot in the mouth and required a, a surgical operation. He sought his medical healthcare services in Morabo. And that's why he was handled. Today, 40 years down the road in this regime, it's a complete opposite. To go there is suicidal. Why? 40 years. This should be the fundamental questions that every Uganda, not only those of us who are in opposition, this, is a, should, this should be a universal grave concern for all of us. She said, a shadow of its, a shadow of its former glory. So, I'm going to be in the Vino Nikumuta and Bokumunj. We're over Shalas in the Wokanisha, Ganama, Mamma, and Babo Vitania by any arm. At a by any arm, Mutan Woman Yamuri. Now, I'm Bishan, I'm in the way near Mingrove. Then, a timid thing, the Mahur Roman Armen, who are no fear of Rock and Russian. Already leave. By the way, following by the way. power. No, the Raven. Nakalculating the best session you offer mathematics. Moita six room, I made darling from Sakwa. You can look it up. Calculating. Now she's doing it. Eh! But no, I'm going to have a moon. You're a pack of shell. Hardly numbers of Gisu, Masaba, and the Ili Matilibon. Mumia, how such a village. Ah! Nibudu the hospital, yes, Mumia, a job protector in the power. Chitta. Udu the hospital. Namari Mukana who comparing a hospital, you know, the center one, two, and three, this white elephant. Real Macombeha, come to Alira Vil Mubiri, Kesu Hanyana, when the Nangas and Kesu Ruba and Shalot. No, 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 is a disrepair Corinth. Vegara, 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 Yes, Nathan Nanda, Mafavi, Sam Mahurum. 
Uli ni shizimu yu, papa na waishe sika na wasabiru. Sa rino la honu, e hulu meni ngangarane ni, tibu kaburo presidenti na maya na hembiwe resesu, wele na surrendering. Na hari masaba la ande kule ni kumuzimu, kwe sumuga na alangari kadivenga ye. Nga wa ambile mbo wa chele, bile njo rite kulisi. Haribo na wa doktor wa nyakrava ya marona buu wetsi ya kukula ya marona buu vika bisi. Barinua hakula vidive imwe hile enye ne hore liye. Hiliye. Mama sama ni ilo me. Hemi ni imi ana hui manye paide weto. Nga namba huu lila kaa. Ifefe na mba za isha risa profesa kukovola ingu. Hu 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 baringa. The government is not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Ah! I'm not going to be able to recruit people. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Basho wadu ni nusu nambis. Aringa baadhi wewe kana busa wewe neba na anga bari tala ni ari wao ambapo nenda bubu ni ari ni shina. Bari ndi ba nua wundi au ari ni muri ya umri ni umri. Umo sawa wuli sawa ra anga. Mbwe isambo yao nchini wa fruine ruka na bi hakobi haribi tuwe ramu bhangar. Shaka na kwa bani ba elders wuli mani ba elders singa ba si abe tai. Ni wabali ni wanya angore kwe tara na association ni Na yari na tila kuchitula Ili association ni ya elders Ba respect them Basa waninga basa haku wabanga Arima doktor wanya kala wabanga Nere musi imena ambasa Ambasa da kali wango Nganoo rumu saa numula hivu sama Nabe na kuchiteke Nabe ni noe na Europe ni na kuchiteke ya numula hivu Kumuli mkwe soko lide Na kwa njula matike ni mkuli letu hae Ba masawa ame kana hufa ni huo elekeo mukana wefe Patrick masata kuyoywa hukata tuel ngavu pochi wa manyoro rika na kwa kana na kwa swali uli na barie ruka ndiwa sanyo kwa bwe amara ni huo mule mesa ni wundo wuliyo iya nua wewe tuwe ni rita fali uu ba ni 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 tayo lusuhu hunzo isu vile vile ambuni huanda wewe ni oji vana hukana isu shivina. Kale ano kuli la shifa vina ameya, ne nare za mata, ano umundo mchezaro mare, we have come to give a deserving and decent send off to our great icon, and his labour we are bearing, but his labour will continue to linger for generations and ages. May God grant you eternal life. Cho, wanya na papa. Awe nga nile papa masati. Umanyira arena ama nyiroli mumbo zini obote. Nga huli ya huri. Mwafuta la ifupa idewe bali ano ba hubon. Ne uto wa hulo opero mule wa hufu kele shizimu. Wanyoto sec member ba aradisi zivefe mweza na muriano all political leaders present all po all protocol observed asa alimbola 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 ah 
chibachi yanga funabi kuka ni kanga watu baba manya kuka ni kanabi baga ni kiri nase muno mbele sala wera pechisa nase kubanga nasenga ni kakeromo nyala ya kola makuru kuru na kuru no nga kuriromu gano wafe profesa masete kuya baba bishopu Batu baga ni kizaga kubaba yu na dala wechi sawe. Chinele sese na muma nyako nabi wechi sawe chimbale stadium. Era wewawo vikari vye sakola. Batu ba research ingile batu hile vikari. But having this stadium, I'm humbled. Though state yesi ilimo kerinda ichelero. Ngaisi baba meya alomere. Batu baga li baga nile na vikweza. Kumone stadium inu. Nega government irometi. Inye nega nejingone. Nega kuli kukana. Kukana katano kwa chizure. Kubange mbuke likuze evita. Tifana pa omu tuka nisakemba alichira ida. Erendi kusi maya ya nandala. Uwa makuro mati. Aza kuna nikisa. Erana fe kuna muigata kukubone kuti stadium iza mumone. Baba Mea, waga ni kile zilo mozinda hii. Nga ulukulo moti, kakulukuta ambila aduena. Nendi kukulomba, baba mukula ange. Nga ba member wa parliament. Kuikale nga batu venzi nduena. Bama saba. Kunyase kubwa na kuti bujisu. Nadala mbali, izo wazo wanetiena. Nga kwaga ni kile nga kwa loma nile ble mke mke na ye dada. But let's come together and work for the betterment of this city. Ndi kulomba, itibama saba, kulekele uo, kuleka kukani saba chefe da. Kuleka kukani sani yochi di kuku isenyuma. Umona ucho wali kuza mumo nuwa mbengu bokwe sawi isenyuma. Umuga nikeko zilo mozikari zinda yi, wawo wifuro umula yi. Minu ndu migari, especially on two occasions, I've sat with the president. One on one, and the questions he has always asked me. Those days, in Ambere, Kuchirimu good books. Ngateva, what is wrong with you, Bama Saba? Why do you bite one another? Why is it that whoever comes here is choosing the other? Rachi Mweru Mangana. Ateve, the Miru Njola, Jibininga Kwikala, Fenyene. At Bama Saba, Luchina Murumana, Namurometi Baba. Iti naseka haku manyada. Nase nyoni ingila politiksi. Nenge ni kuromba. Iti wera afure a unifying factor. Sese ke ngana kuke. Look about. Look for history about me. Whom have I ever fought? I am always uniting people. I want us to be together. Ere nombe tu wera ako zese na sembe unifying factor in this region. Bawo batu babanyo. Nga nyoni ingila parliament. Moba moba tu mbele vesu batu bamba sabati Kenya la naga ni kani inaboda. But I used to go to them. And say, Baba Nezeri, I want us to work together. For the betterment of this country. For the betterment of Mbali. Baga linga banzi yaka. Ya mai. Ne naba sile, tisene kuruani sile, ndi katano lukulo matukutambe. Nalo meti politics is over. Ndi kuro mba, atawero mulai. Bukisu MPs. This time round. We are one person. Ndi kuchi gani kanga kaya chiruma moda itala nyinyi ala ya njulira. This time round we are one person. Era we now meet and we are trying to plan for the betterment of this region. For the betterment of this city. Baku sekene ere nabi. Balebe banji. Sesefu na mochina. Nga doktor gali wangabe ere ku NRM Secretariat. Nga na mtu sila yo, aliwa mtu sui kala yo katano. Nengefe baju, sipepe ya nendeko mwini milina. Ate katano, chifo cha za handi. Isese, ndiwe nomba wele, anjede. Nga, kui mire mu politics, my prayer was, I and my sister Lydia Wanyoto go to parliament. I wanted both of us to be in parliament. And it would be possible. Nebatu weza baku kalamu ilai ni batu. Pati wei ilai. Wei ilai. 
we run this side. But both of us are capable in being, of being in the parliament. Mula laza ku division ni chindi. Mula laza ku division ni chindi. Na mula laza ku woman MP. And both of us will be serving this region very well. Nenga kuli ni zimi zo zimbi. Zika gani sada. Na kayenze yu nga abere yo. Kichina bachida ita. Katule yo. Ise senze. Kata nukunya na kuidu yanga. Sese na kayenza chikuza. Na wo chikuza. Chisi nza chaba chingata. And yet if both of us go. It's very beautiful in the eyes of God. It's for the glory of God. Then the Kuromba, Bama Saba. Let's stop the infights. Where am I? We are celebrating the life of our icon. And that's how I've got this opportunity to tell this. Where else could I have said this? In Nomba Wera Kuyede, Ngabama Saba. Let's get together. Baba Mayor, the cancer in this city is corruption. Nothing more than that. Mbale can never move on. Nga kuchiri ni babifi bali mumba ale chereri. Imbale nefu uta babifi mu Uganda yo season. Imbale, I'm telling you the truth. Atifa kutu kutulaya kuka nika ko, bana nika kubama bali. Buna, bana nika, kia kuka nisa. And the people who want to say that they are very good at the worst, they paint themselves differently, and then they go and look differently in other people's eyes. May God help us. Baba Anadisi, I want to thank God that he has brought you to this region. And I welcome you warmly to Mbale City. And I pray that God uses you, the way you've just said, that you unify us. And the unity is the only way that Mbale will move on. Without unity, will not move on. And the only thing that I ask of you, Baba Arasisi, please, don't be scared of the thieves. Don't be scared of the thieves. There are too many. There are too many. They are immense in number. Just do your work. Let them label you. But God will be on your side. And Mbale will regain its past glory. Because we are tired. Yes, some of us are in these offices. But now if they have labeled us, we want to work for government, they say, ah, ah, those are the bad people. You ask for this, they say, don't give those ones. Surely we are trying our best. We will lobby for this, we will lobby for this city. If I did not love Mbale, I would have not lobbied for Ustema University to be in Mbale. At least I also have something to talk about. Ustema <laughs> University. And I was an MP. I was not a minister. This is stadium. I thank God that they have brought this body when there is grass. But I came and we planted this grass. My husband supported me. And uh, Baba Mafuko. And then the manager of this place were able to plant this grass. While I was planting it, everybody was abusing me on social media. But I thank God, the grass is there. And the fight that I opened up was bringing here the trade fair. The town clerk, the deputy town clerk did not want me to do that. But I thank God that I stood on my feet. I said it will not be there and it, is not, it did not come. And it will never come again. We want matches here. Our children need to develop talent. But if we use it for trade fairs, does it become any picture anymore? So pray for us that as we are doing the right thing, we have protection. Because they again look for after us. They want to take us away. But thank God, God is protecting us. And he will continue protecting us. I just want to thank God that we've gotten this opportunity because of the fallen icon. He has lived a life to be talked about. How I pray that all of us have something to be talked about. Just as like Baba Bishop said, Kukana ne. 
ate kuganise nga kwagana nire kwagana sire we shall all but the sky will be the limit but we need to at nechirero imba necheri yacho ukire but people are taking advantage of our fights and neglecting us and they say ah, ah you live with those ones they are still fighting and things go in other regions because we are fighting the moment we shall wake up and say we are now one well i pray that you will not be too late may god bless us all who have come manyala mwesi babeze ne kukulirira ko baba wefe nombe twera abayizika bi wera abakolere bilai kubanga na nyemweze ne kubanga kulirira adwena munyongere kukulombera kubo mutu mudwena kunyase kulwanisa bwifi buli mumba ale baba meyo katyadda just push on babi fibochi kuna banika we shall we shall put a flag a red flag and they will have nowhere to run to and i know god will raise mbale again thank you so much and may god bless you all for god and my country oh my wanya na mumpa kilo homo ngono ko masamara marumu gasinjere na makande ko nelele songo enu te mu parliament ko nelele ku kuhu but like you heard from her, fighting after would have had the Hari Hari Parliament. Then fighting, we Parliament, yeah, yeah, abo wabadi tsara ba mwa kumwendo bali fuwa kubana ngana ali wa ngabushe wa kulya kota wa mira bigosa ba ina fuwa wa fuwe mbe obusa mai ya ku tio mai wa nyala mai Bishop Nibata and Gilisi Mukanisa, a family of your professor Masete Kuya, Balebe, Bemana Family Simuliano. Bata angiris vefe ni mumba ale ni bebo gisu adwera kalibe mba ale site bana angalidi ya wanyoto mutende nezerano yesu kwa beri ngolo be mkanisa ikampala kuweleke sa muta angiris vefe guga vefe baba vefe Era message yange iza kudabula awe neo mubi sinza bibiri kusima ni kusasira i family kufir ni ngana kuna nika ni biasi engineer sa kwa lomere Darlington Honourable one of our leaders here chidwe la chikuda mbisa ngabata angiri si yangu ngabata wembali ni akundi is discipline. And then I tell you, where the program is finished? We have finished the Kuganika. We have the Tambisi the Kukuba campaign. We have the Kuganika. We have the Kuganika. We have the Kuganika. We have the family program. So we have the Kuganika. 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 Kwa kuba kampeni ni vindi yesi Kwa labi kama mba gana ni kufirada Baba, bata angiri sibe kanisa Ni family yo profesa ni mwesi mwesele 
Ini message jindu era ya mileku Pache headquarters Ya signing the right honorable Richard Prodrom As secretary general welfare Era na gendele ni midi yonindu era Nga mabugo Kwa vele kumukutu Nga kandika ni ya ya tom Ibabandi ni ya saa kwa su Nga munambole ya nanesi pambisa mapesa Ganoneze ni nago cash Ni message na yon ni nayo Ili mubu wandike Che kabidi I government Inachiki ramubu tongo Ili munga manga kulikusika Nenga nilinonge Ili kujia sibandi balome ili Kutife bagani kanyena Remu government Mbaba atamba ni nayo Mbaba members Sese nga lidi ya ni ya maruwa wa seti Nga mwapedi kali mwatu miri Biesi mwagana inakwesa ndeti Inakwesa ndeti Ibaba ni nga kwa ambida adwele Echo chigani kare kuba Chilina ko Bujulizi ni bunyari Mkwe kikabi Kulete program Zesi mwagana Nga ba elders wepa nukwabo nilide Bidabuli The government you know Ya yede ni muku gende sa mubidi Go professor Gwabi tintebe Ingo le kwa musabida Chale roku ya noni na ye Muga ambaku na muereke sa Mchiti wa chewe Nga na kusima nga di kumaliriza Contribution yesi wa kuwele Kuwereke sa baba yukina Government ya kwa gani se cash Milion ya bidi Kugana kuzika ni kefu accountability Na yu njini ya saa kalumi na tufabe ene kuonge ileko Ne kugani kechesi government yiko liliki na mumani So that is Baleke kwa wama sisi official fini Official fini roo Watu bali ya mapesa Oba government This is a contribution ya bele mukashi Ya kudavulide Milioni ya bidi Parliament officially Ya kwele milioni Dikumi So Bitu bilo kubiga nike straight Nyo mumani So that organizing committee Ileke kufuna wuna Uwa angafuda Na yete le midi yoni ndo era ya mide mpate kashi nza kuzewa So that we are transparent and accountable Nge kuweleke sa babay So muga amba Puna gani kabigali Kuchi gani kani government Yes manaku waku na dianjula Pefe wa gani kila NRM government Baba mida imba alenga samwe ene Sese kini ikwe kada Musi ni chido di wayeru Bila ini bibi sasa suda kumgongo na undumu anuwe nye kane muna kubamu ite kimuni itada Na inga kakakona ni kumanya seti mumani Na na kumali liza ni songa yesi Injinia saa kwa lume ileni ya ya onarevo na andari Na sika onarevo yona kanyomozi Na banina ye as member parliament ni akali kubiku wa face arusha Ni yona Bela ba mu Uganda, aba part of the Tunga mo community. Baba injini ya sakwa. Community ye lango. Community ye ya choli. Nabo nako ni be mwesi na ilobana nika. Na dalavanya ankole ni bagana. Kiba linda ba imeba ba parliament. Damburu kumbo na. Didede, don't wait for MPs. Reo kuba MP, aba mu office miya kajitano. Mwabe ni nyo mu mutuma. Ne MP katu sawo boost away community da. Eranga babo nebati Ikominte ya sido wa Ikolamo murimo Government isamu rugos Mkominite yu Kima nyangu lukufu nada Nenga kwa ata mire ngesi kulikuti Kwa sile emu pibuli nyangu Mutesi kutumide mparament Changu nabi Batu wa maanze Kaleo nanuna bani emu piwo Yesu wa amiri Mbomo lukufu na Batu wa na maanze Yebu gisu Basipo nsari ingebatu wanaza kupa kolea kupa kupila kalu mpala metuwe juwe siba gani Nga wamu ene wika likuidi gini ulukumi wa busele So ndi kukulu mba seti Kwa angala ba memba wa pala metukuta kukuchiki Zani ibabandi mkanso yena Nendi kukulu mba komite yeba masaba Busto weba masaba Kukuleki laba MP bonyeni Mwikole momuli momu kula angi Leo kupa private sector Intunga mo Mulangoni elders, they are stronger than the MPs. Fuck ni over akala, but we unazo we nuka nazada. Pabe ene kwe kutukitulaya kweza kwa kubanya nini muasiri. Nenga banga haba mudibasitu. Kale mula mutiwewe kuna nazada, ilaka nazada. Because lango community, 
You don't go. Now in Tunga Mueva, you are the elders, it is the church, it is the religious leaders. You know, the child leaders are up another than Ayaze. So we have turned ourselves upside down. Get up, Rida Kut. When you come into Efe, Isto, you are one of us to have a Mamu committed you as a Kukolakin. Kukola Mini Mujesi Mugana Kukol. Elanga Bas, the Bas of Aganiki community, you are a Bisto, Kwama government. So, Manya Laku, Pridiza, Professor Masetaka Manya Lavina Bunga Numugeke, by the takeoff of 1985, I was young, I was Nanika Usa Secondary School, but my late husband, Honorable Dr. James Mutende, Abam Manya, and they were friends, and my father in law, Zay Michael Mutendi, they were Masete, and they worked with him during that time. So, at a family level, Niango, Nasenai, the Kusa Sirakwase, Plus you are available to serve and we value the leaders who have come before us. Uh, I look forward to more community work. Nino Mbenga Sembayo seti Mikolonga Jinoki na Jafinro Kwise Rugosi Muba Fisire. Ne Baba, Ngesulomere, Engineer Sakwa, Mulanga Zibaraza, but Bafuni Kabiga, Yakiba Kuni Kabida and Gazibaraza Veneda, Gira Beza no Kirabak Bida no campaign in Bafu Gis, the Manyanavi, where Agani say, Zay Professor Masete, Chium Logicao, is the new and Vera Pesci, being in a Manyanavi Kupuris. So, my lady, Wanyanavi, where I hope it. No, I'm Harin Damoli. Before I ask who is to wait, but in Ukule and Gatu, you're not a camera. Better in the cool and Bamupi cabin and Nicola, Mutako, Chimuli, Rekuba, Gamulanga, and the cool demand as Indy Quay. So it will not disrupt the program. Most people give the same in the Teko Chimuli. As Papa, am I wait a cup, Papa? Gama Ata for a Hoshi, Chimuli. Uh, <laughs> 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 Bakuru <laughs> Can I Masita kuya na ngati ngana kwezi moto kazo kuzekuto ngse profit kweza ayirom jela mawebula i kwa mu ira kwa zopabe ngi na chindi ngana mira hansa na gubole na zamu ministry of foreign affairs na ba protocol department kare cha pe kavi ukora gani ba tuos ba kuwa ba government. Kuyabom Salos, 
Ganabe is sweet in me. Now, could have a Uganda was from Scandinavian countries. Calling a look man, Rabbit and Moshio, Nizi Daraslamu, my set of Koreans are Ganera. Quasi Mosh, maybe Moshi, maybe baby. My set Nga Opote, Neta, Mugana Mavi. Gabri Hango, Obama, and Kuso Mesa, Ezo, Opote. Gabinia scrub on the Mamedia. Caracua filo mutum curuca ganadin movies can keep yours, yes, Masseta Corire, yours mavi would eat it, but barry there, less nafi room sale, at Queva Salamavi. Caracan number way there, and which you monitor him, Amakuna by facing or cum seeker. Bibi Remchikaka mavi would eat it, Caracan Kuku began a cada. So, now at this moment, I take the honor to invite the family representative also. Eric, Papa, Eric, uh, family representative. I know Eric's around. Nathan, wherever you are, yeah, this is the time for you to. Uh, Mourn with us, of course, as a family. You're welcome. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Papa. Uh, thank you for, for coming for this funeral service. It's been a great pleasure. And uh, the family of Professor Patrick Masede Koya appreciates it. Uh, let me start by giving thanks to you, um, let me like thank the, would like to thank the government led by His Excellency and uh, conducted by area MPs, Honorable Goretti and Kako Werehe, and uh, Ambassador Galiwango for assisting with the repatriation, travel, and funeral costs for, for Muse. Uh, I would also like to thank the clergy led by the bishops from Bale and not Bale for the support. Uh, we greatly thank NOSA, led by Engineer Dali Totsakwa for organizing this ceremony. Uh, we also thank the local leaders, led by RDC Patients Nambale for providing security and support. Uh, we also want to especially thank uh, our friends, especially Prophet, for supporting and giving us guidance through this time. Um, I'd also in advance like to thank the mayor for promising to rename this stadium uh, to Professor Patrick Kouya's stadium. We appreciate that as well. Now, this is the, the third funeral service we are holding. The first one was in Nairobi, and uh, it was led by Kenyatta University School of Economics. And um, uh, Ambassador Shaki briefed you on uh, what they said, the lecturers, the students, the parents had great words, great, great words for Professor Kuya. Hmm? And, uh, so Ambassador Shaki was actually very, very, very impressed. And uh, as he said, Professor Kuya was a very good ambassador in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, to us as a family, uh, he's been our dad and uh, guided us well, uh, led us well. Uh, he was very, very firm and strict, but one thing that uh, insisted on and guided us on was education because he told us education is the pillar for everything and uh, yes he led us through it and we all both uh, his children grandchildren are following the same path eh? um, I don't want to take any more time since your time but so Thank you once again. Thank you for coming and appreciating Professor Patrick Masetekoye. Thank you.